Hi, my name is Ali Harvey. Um, I'm a Programs Manager with the Heritage Council, so I run the National Planning and Regeneration Programs. One of the programs that I set up recently was the Collaborative Town Centre Health Check Programme. That's a programme to help historic town centres. So it's really trying to work with community groups, um, civic leaders, business leaders, local authorities. Historic town centres have really suffered, you know, in the last 20 to 30 years. There's been quite a lot of decline. Really, the first thing that we do when we go into the towns is to try and get the baseline, to try and create the data and trying to work out what are the vacancy rates so that those business and civic leaders have an idea of where they're at and how can you then plan for the future. Really one of the things for the towns, what we're finding is that these towns don't have town councils anymore. So when you're doing regeneration, you need an engine, you need a focus for all those communities to come together. Some of these towns that we're working with, you know, we've got 15 towns in the programme. Really what we're trying to do is create that engine, get everybody working together, create the data, make sure that everybody starts to trust each other. Larger towns in Ireland, you know, for example, in Drogheda and Dundalk, they both have business improvement districts, which are really, really useful for people like myself to meet and connect and work with and try and create that winning pathway with the businesses, but also working with the local authority. So it's all about trying to create a rich ecosystem and really we need people to work together. And we've just got to create that because it doesn't exist in the country at the minute, that rich ecosystem for towns and historic town centres. My name is uh, Declan Mallon, I'm from Upstate Theatre Project, an organisation dedicated to community collaborative practices in the arts in County Louth. The Barlow House is the best example here on West Street of renovation along heritage lines. It was bought from the government by the Drihid Art Centre and they completely refurbished the building and it is still, after 20 years, being used now for community, business and arts organisations. So it is a significant site, both historically and of course now culturally. It's living as well because it continues to produce uh, young artists and provide uh, workshop spaces for community to gather. Every town needs support for cultural centres because you cannot delineate between one and the other. It is all leading towards good, healthy, quality life and opening up all those possibilities for local communities and for citizens is part of what we need to be doing to regenerate, in the true sense of the word, town centres. We've been waiting for a number of years here in Drogheda for the collaborative town centre health check. We think that that is probably the stepping stone to actually developing a good collaborative base for regeneration, particularly in the town centre. The potential is just so immense because we've got all these buildings that are empty, quite a lot of them are empty on the ground floor. The vacancy rates for the upper floors can be 80%. The retail ground floor vacancy that we're finding compared to other European countries, we're much higher. So we are out of step with other EU member states. So we're working with young people, students, they're actually helping us create the data. And they're telling us that they want to live in these towns and these town centres. They don't want to have cars, they want to be able to walk everywhere. So it seems a bit sort of strange to look at all these derelict buildings and then to know that we've got a housing crisis at the same time. We really shouldn't have vacancy rates on the ground floor. They shouldn't be above 5%. And what we're finding with a lot of the towns, they could be 20%, 30% plus. We need to sort of sit down and work out how are we going to design these town centres? How are they going to be fit for our young people to live in them? We shouldn't have a housing crisis because our towns are part of that solution. If we use the vacancy rates to sort of help us move along, there really should be vacancy targets. What processes should be put in place? Now, I am a great believer in that conservation must be action-based. It can't just be you leave the building and that's it, it's conserved or it's a protected structure. I believe in that the community should come together with the business leaders and to decide how should those, in Ireland they're called architectural conservation areas, be managed. The CTCHC programme, I go in and facilitate. So the first thing I say to people, I spend the first you know, few weeks, few months listening. What do you need? How can I help you? It's trying to enable people to come forward and tell us what do you want for your historic town. And really part of that as well is bringing young people in because they talk about sustainability in Ireland, right? And part of sustainability for me is my belief that we must bring young people on. We want to provide housing that is decent. And as I say, they're already telling us that they would like some of the buildings. They really would love to, you know, they look at them and I'm sort of saying to them, what about if we set up a cooperative for young people? Could we refurbish this building and maybe use the land out the back? that could be part of the sort of collateral for the finance. We just need our policymakers to listen to practitioners like myself who are actually working really, really hard on the ground because we are actually working with these civic and business leaders and they're telling us what they want. Young people are telling us what they want and we're trying to get the policymakers to listen and they need to now really listen to practitioners.